This is Holy Family Bilingual Catholic School. 155 students rooted in the Catholic faith. Founded in 1927, we take pride of our bilingual program. Mi nombre es mayor. The year is 2020. It's an outstanding school with a bright future. And it's all thanks to our fearless leader, Miss Larkin. Good morning. Buenos días, Emily. ¿Cómo estás? Oh, muchas gracias. Un abrazo, mi parte favorito del día. ¿Listo para aprender? Sí. Hola, Camila. ¿Cómo estás? Morning, Drew. How are you? Good. Good. I'm well. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Me puedes tocar la mano? High five. You're cold. It's cold. Hace frío. So I've been teaching Spanish since, gosh, 2004. So for a long time, but this is only my third year as a principal. I'm kind of a newer principal. So teaching and principaling has been a, a new thing. Buenos días, Jose. Buenos días, Daniel. Buenos días, Daniela. Del Padre, del Hijo, y del Espíritu Santo. Daniel, empieza. Larkin is an energizer bunny. She knows every inch of her school. She knows every student by name. She knows every family. I can't even express how much she gives to this school. She gives the school everything. She's on call all the time. The whole community has her cell phone number and they're not afraid to use it. Ella es la que nos ayuda a mover, a mover todo y a, pe a pedir las ayudas que nosotros necesitamos. You can go to her about anything that you are going through. Academically, whether it's something at home, whatever it may be, you're able to go to her and you are being fully 100% supported. I'm thankful for Miss Tammy because she's been really nice to me all these years. She's so vibrant. Her energy inspires us all. She makes me feel like I'm special in my own way. She makes me want to get somewhere in life. My name is Larkin Temi and I am the principal of Holy Family and I am starting my third year as principal. What we're doing here is nothing short of amazing. She's a very dynamic leader. I think there is a huge plus that she's totally bilingual. So she engaged very, very easily both communities, English and Spanish. Our mission is to create students who accept and embrace differences. We do that through our dual language program. Even though like some of us are from different places or our parents immigrated here from different places, we all get along very nicely and we don't have like arguments about stuff like culture and race. We have families from lots of different places in the world. We have East African families, Latino-Hispanic families, Filipino families, families who speak three languages at home, and everybody here thinks that that's really cool. So I sat down in my desk in my empty office and I said, you know, okay, well, what now? I asked the office administrator, can you get me the enrollment numbers? And she ran me a list of numbers of students in each grade and it said 90. And I said, 90 students. And I said, they are going to close this school. I don't know what is going to happen here. How do we only have 90 enrolled? And she said, don't worry, we'll get more. And that's why you're here. Here I came in already feeling like I don't have that much experience. How am I gonna how am I gonna navigate this? And so immediately Fulcrum stepped in and said, We've got the Leadership Academy. We've got you covered. The Leadership Academy is for aspiring principals. It began four years ago. They learn about what it is to be a spiritual leader, an academic leader, a managerial leader, and a strategic leader. I've only been teaching for four years, so I, I was in law enforcement prior to teaching. I can tell you all about law enforcement, but teaching is something new, and that's what I'm doing right now, and that's my calling. So when I'm in this leadership academy, I'm really focusing on what I don't know, because you just don't know what you don't know. Well, I do think it's a challenge to learn, and I'm hoping to gain that here. How can I take my spirituality, that has always been such a private part of me, and share that in an effective way? My first principal job was at Holy Family and White Center. It's a great little school. It's a wonderful community. I learned a lot there, a lot. He's really helped to turn that school around and 
you know, I look up to him and say, you know, if Steve could do it here at Holy Family, by golly, I can too. I think through the Leadership Academy, she learned just to have a better understanding of what it means to be a principal. You're, you're essentially running a small business. A budget isn't handed to you that for you to manage. You have to create the budget and set the tuition based on the budget. A Catholic school principal, the job is so complex and so difficult and can be so draining. It's draining when you don't have people helping you. I don't have a vice principal, I don't have a business manager. And so a lot of these things that really need to happen to make a school function kind of fall in my lap. The whole idea of being a great leader is to breathe spirit into others, to want to be a part of something that is bigger than themselves. It's about the ministry of Catholic education, the vocation, that they are called to this position, they're called and sent to this position, and Larkin is exactly that person. I didn't think that I had the skills to do what needed to be done at this school until I learned that I could do it through the Fulcrum Leadership Academy. All of the families here, they sacrifice to send their kids to school here. It's not, it's not just a luxury that they have. They work another job to send their kids here and they take it very seriously. And having financial assistance is, is key to them being able to keep their children enrolled in our school. 46% of our students require some sort of financial aid and most of that comes from Fulcrum. I know before we had technology, but it was like really ancient. Uh, like we, had, we still had like fax machines and stuff like that. The Fulcrum came in and said, we're gonna help you uh, modernize your school. And now we have a one-to-one -one Chromebook program and students between the grades four and eight, each are sending in Google Docs instead of writing on worksheets. We've received just so much help from Fulcrum and we're incredibly grateful. The school would not be growing if it wasn't for Fulcrum. Sometimes I wonder why God loves us so much? Why is Holy Family so close to His heart? Just the community. I've never had a sense of community before like I have here at Holy Family. It really is a village that's helping you with your children. They spend most of their day with their school, so you really know and understand and begin to see how loved they are and how taken care of they are beyond their academics for sure. I believe that this is the best school in Seattle and I believe in bilingual education and I believe that this is the way that we're going to make the world a better place. That really deep belief in what we're doing here in Holy Family is what motivates me to get up every day and come do it again. I feel like if we have a good leader like Ms. Tammy, everything's just like blooming. Bigger mindsets to where you want to be, what you're going to do with your life. And what I think the Leadership Academy is doing is telling these passionate young leaders, you can do this and we're going to help you. And without that, we would have a lot of people not even consider this job because they would think that it's too overwhelming or too daunting. Or when you get in those moments of, I have no clue what to do and who to turn to, it's through the Leadership Academy that I have a list of numbers to call and I have people who are willing to support me. And I can do it. I'm surprised, but, but I can do it.